and the countdown begins. It is Monday and we leave Thursday. Are you ready? Good morning. I wanted to pick up the vlog camera and talk to you today because it's just gonna be a crazy day and I wanted to vlog and show you like what a normal crazy day looks like in our life. I gotta let the dogs out. She always scratches at the door when she wants to go outside. Go, 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 go. We kind of slept in a little bit this morning and had a little bit slow morning. It's nine o'clock, I'm still in my pajamas drinking my coffee. Derek is over there being the best husband in the whole entire world. He makes the bed every morning. The rule is the last one out of the bed has to make it. Our goal is to be racing very shortly in a few weeks, this car. And it has no motor in it. The rear end just went in last night. So there's a lot to be done to this car. Also, we need to get this house freaking finished. A baby is on the way. We're gonna hang plastic everywhere, cover all the windows, cover all the drywall, everything that can't get paint on it. And Derek is spraying the ceiling with this black paint over here. It's a fireproof black paint so that we can leave the ceiling exposed. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas. I'm not ready for the day. I've had like six meltdowns already about this house and the race car. So it's been a day for me. That's why I haven't vlogged much. But doing this paint on the ceiling is saving us a lot of money because to cover the ceiling with either drywall or tongue and groove or, or whatever, it was gonna cost thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So the paint was our best option. And down the road in the future, maybe we'll put beautiful tongue and groove on the ceiling. Just FYI, everybody out there, we have to get this house finished because the, we're on boss, a time crunch. the boss that's holding the camera says it's got to be done before we go racing, which we're going in October, early October, and the car's sitting out here in a hundred pieces. You can go show him the car. Okay, he's lying a little bit. I'm not the boss. The boss is the inspector. The inspector is the true boss, and he's coming at the end of October. So here's the race car. Yes, it is in a million pieces, and there is no motor in it right now, but good news, the motor is ready for pickup. So what my dad is doing is getting the outlet covers on all of the outlets around the house because for electrical to be legal, they need to be covered. Don't make it that sound that easy because it's not. It's actually a project because all of the outlets are sunken into the wall. so. You have to space them out, bring the outlets out to be flush with the outlet covers. Because the person who originally had this barn dominium before us didn't do anything right. Close your eyes for a minute, close your eyes for a second, I won't change my... No! It's the best way to cut pizza. Derek, lunch is ready. Oh wow, you got this all, all taped off. You're almost ready to paint. Oh, well, this isn't for paint. Are you Dexter? <laughs> I got everything taped off, hopefully good. We'll find out when we take it down. Actually, I see a window right here, so we're gonna fix that while I'm looking at it. The goal is to take down all the plastic when we're done and not have any black paint on the windows. Um, but we'll you find out. You don't look very confident. I'm not. I know I look crazy, but just so proof. So everyone's like, you're pregnant. You shouldn't be in there while he's painting. I'm wearing a mask and I'm only gonna be in here for like three seconds to film him. Now, what is getting deep now? Follow me. enough of this stuff, does that mean my lungs would be fireproof? What the heck, Derek? You are full of paint. I wonder if I should shower and reassess so then maybe actually like just wear safety like stuff. Yeah, they said don't get it on your skin. Please don't let me down. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
It is days later since we picked up the vlog camera and we're vlogging the house situation. But today is all about the race car. We leave in what, like a week to go racing and we're picking up the motor today. Oh, don't say it like that. We're picking up the belts today. We're picking up a battery today. And in 10 minutes, we need to pull over because we have a Zoom call one of, with one of our sponsors that I'm so excited to share with you about. Potential sponsors. Hopefully after this call, we can pick the camera back up and tell you about it. Oh, yeah. Wait, I didn't think about it that way. Definitely a potential sponsor, There's but- our reminder, 10 minute warning. But it is someone that we've worked with in the past and we just love them so much So we're so excited about this call. So it's a busy day today on the racing side of things So I wanted to bring you along with us wasn't stressed about leaving for the race until you said we leave in a week Now I'm a little stressed <laughs> We made it to the parking lot where we're gonna take this zoom call You know sometimes you just got to do what you got to do for zoom calls when you have to travel as much as us you take them in the car. This isn't our first time doing this. We actually have done this quite often. Let's clean it off. Okay, all right. You can't listen to this call, so bye. Meeting went great. We're running out of time before the engine shop closes. Gotta run into Simpson. We got the belts. Now we're going across the street to SRI to pick up a battery and then to PME, which they close in less than an hour. Oh wait, no, an hour and a half. We got time. Derek no. was rushing me out of there. They close at 4.30. Oh, I thought they closed at five. Okay, we have an hour, so we gotta get going. <laughs> Thirty-five minutes to get over to PME. The battery is secured. Looks like we're not gonna make it to PME because the train is holding us up. The train's not even moving, Derek. We'll make it. They can't sit there forever. Look at it. Now, oh, it's um, moving. Forwards or backwards? We made it to PME. Four o'clock. Thirty minutes till they close. We had all sorts of time. But Derek just walked into the front area to pay for the motor. We already, we're not buying a motor. If I didn't make this clear, we're not buying a motor. We already had this motor. We are getting it like refreshed. So it's gonna be nice and new and very powerful for these next couple races we're doing up in Wisconsin. And he's in there paying for it now and then we'll drive around back and pick it up. Well, now we only have $50 to our name. <laughs> Like, I don't know what it is. If that was a cash transaction, it wouldn't be like, I don't know. I get shaky when I have to write checks. Is that what took so long? That big. Well, and the, the lady was multitasking. There's a lot of people getting motors redone, or at least calling about motors, because the phone didn't stop ringing from when I was in there. from all of the random errands we had to run today for this beautiful race car right here. Derek's gonna unload the motor and I think we're gonna be calling it for the night because Derek hasn't eaten all day. I'm gonna probably just like pick it up, drop it in. <laughs> okay. Watch, Natalie will make this look cool. Motor is up. I can't edit that. Okay. But I can edit, like if you're standing here okay. and you like snap your fingers, I can edit the, the motor's not here anymore. Okay, the magic trick then everyone, watch this, ready? Here we go, motor is gonna be in the car. Close your eyes for a minute, close your eyes for a second, I won't change my mind. What does getting deep now, what does getting deep now? That's why I said we should call it a night earlier. 
No, not I want chips tonight, and salsa. But let's go get you chips and salsa from the Mexican restaurant and then come home and do just a little bit of work. Okay, you do all the work in here and I'll go do the laundry and the dishes because that's well needed too. After we eat chips and salsa. Yeah. Off to dinner with my smoking hot. Well, that was an expensive day. <laughs> We're gonna go spend more money at the re Mexican restaurant. I'm only gonna eat the free chips and salsa because I'm not actually that hungry and get a sweet tea. Yeah, no, we're both just gonna go get chips, salsa, and water. I just wanna give you guys a look at what the real pregnancy is like. I get so car sick. I try to be so bubbly and happy on camera and if you see me in person, but I have been feeling like crap this whole pregnancy. Also, if you're watching this video and you like don't know yet, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I didn't uh, put the camera on you for you to talk, just so you know. I was just oh. like, thank you for that, though. It <laughs> probably was better than how I would have said it. But Okay, you can talk. I'm sorry. I'm going to throw up anyways. Yeah, no, I was just trying to show that you don't look very... I don't look very good? You don't look like you're not going to throw up. That's all. Alrighty. We're almost there. <laughs> You're gonna spill. <laughs> it's like hibachi, but at a Mexican restaurant. Can you and the countdown begins. It is Monday, and we leave Thursday. Are you ready? Hopefully. We have a lot to do today. Let's get going. Hey, but look at this picture. The motor's in. The car looks great. Can I do a sausage and cheese McMuffin with a hash brown and a small iced vanilla coffee? Obviously, our first stop had to be McDonald's because the pregnant girl needs to eat. Derek did not get anything. He's on a diet, so he doesn't get too big for his race seat. No, I'm just on a diet of being stressed and tired. That's true. Second stop, SRI. Please don't let me walk out of here without double checking the list that is on my phone. I do this every time. We walk in for certain things and I leave with half of the stuff I need. You can tell everyone the reason why. Because I'm thinking of so many other things. No, because you, you get so me. flustered. My beautiful hot wife just distracts me. I get flustered in there. You for sure have everything you need that's on your list. I just need a drive shaft. The third stop for the day is picking up the hero cards. Let's see them. Beautiful. Fourth stop, Lulu. Why we're stopping at Lululemon is for Derek to get a nice button-up shirt to go under his suit because before we race, a few days before we race at lacrosse, we have a wedding to go to. And what happened to your shirt, Derek? I guess you're not supposed to put them in the washer. No, he didn't tell me and he had his nice Lululemon button up shirt at the bottom, stuffed at the bottom of the hamper. So I just like dumped everything in and it was a crisp white, beautiful shirt and everything that I was washing was black and dark. And when <laughs> we pulled it out of the wash, it had all these water stains on it and it had little black and blue like fuzzy stains all over it. So it's destroyed. I think this is our fifth stop. We had to pick up. Some people don't know what that is. It's a welding rod. Derek. A drive shaft. A drive shaft. We had to get a drive shaft. 
And now we have everything on our list, right? Yeah, let me check it off really quick. I see a lot of things unchecked. I see two things unchecked. One thing. It's the alternator connector, but we got solutions for that, so. All right, let's go home and work on the race car. We made it home and the dogs were going nuts. They're gonna be so excited to see us. I'm at this door. Penny, Cash, where are they? Oh, I was like, oh, hi, hi. morning everyone last night we got the car fired running the car set up it's ready to go now put the the ride sticks on it and uh, measure everything so we know where we're at a fun update just got a call from the dealership where the dually is needed a new exhaust system on it brought it in on Friday last week he thought we'd have it back by Monday um, just got a call from him they are waiting on a small hose that uh, isn't coming in until Thursday. This is fun because we had planned to leave Thursday early afternoon. Uh, we might be pulling an all-nighter on our drive up to Wisconsin. Okay, okay, I'm so sorry. Derek took over the vlog for a little bit, so I hope you enjoyed it. Do you think you did a good job, Derek? I think so. Oh, I'm hoping you enjoyed it. I'm hoping he vlogged well for you. I literally only said two things. Natalie obviously hasn't watched the I'm footage. picking up the camera now and taking back over. Okay, I was not feeling good yesterday, and this morning I had to really take care of myself, so I felt good for the anatomy scan. We're on our way for the anatomy scan, which is like a really big deal. If you're not familiar, this is where we like check everything on baby. Fingers and toes and organs and brain and measurements and ah, the gender. Okay, so it's a big deal. We're on our way to that, but racing life doesn't stop. So we had to leave early because we're going to... We gotta try and get our radios fixed. Or not fixed, but synced up. Yes, yeah, so we're going to Racing Electronics and we're gonna drop off the radios and hopefully they can get them all in the same frequency so they all work together and we have enough radios for these next couple races coming up. And we also are stopping at McDonald's because I heard if you drink orange juice before this appointment, the baby moves around a lot. I haven't been to their new building, so I have zero clue what door to walk in. I'm so impressed. Like he said, we haven't been to their new building yet, and this is gorgeous. All right, let's go spend a lot of money. <laughs> I, wish, I wish we didn't have to spend all this money, but racing is expensive. Oh, he's waiting for me. I was like trying to film you walking in. <laughs> so that went really well. We're thinking that all the batteries need to be replaced on the radios. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And- Not all of them, just some of them. That's gonna be like a $4,000 bill. If no, it's not. Batteries. You over exaggerate it. Well, we're thinking some of the batteries are bad. And then also there's just a few radios that aren't on the same frequency. She said that they'll most likely be ready for tomorrow for pickup, which is good because we leave in two days. I just got out of the shower and Derek comes running into the house. He's like, get the vlog camera. And guess who I met at the driveway? Who? The ups man. UPS? Guess what Your just dream came job? In. Well, yeah, that too. Feels like stickers. Sounds like stickers. HD5 says it is stickers. Thanks guys. Sorry I look like a crazy mess. I just got out of the shower, but I have a hair appointment today. So I'm gonna go to that. And when I get back, you'll see Natalie with new hair and the stickers getting put on the race car. All right, Natalie just got home from her hair appointment. Sorry I didn't vlog very much today, but you got stuff on your lips. I got lips. lipstick on. <laughs> I love her, but I don't like Wait, the show stuff my on hair, show her. my hair. Ready? Do you guys like it? Okay, so while you were gone, yeah, got a package from Bauer Welding. Okay. I opened it up because I was confused. After I opened up the lid, I was like, ooh, Natalie might want to open this herself. So, like, here. should I open it right here? 
I'll set it on the ground for you. It truly is heavy. And Derek texted me and was like, Jed Bauer, Bauer Welding, sent us a box. It's 50 pounds. I'm waiting to open it with you. So 50 pounds to me, I was thinking like something so big. I'm like, oh my God, I'm like nervous. I'm like, how big is the box? He sent us a welder. What? No. Like, I don't know how to weld. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, Natalie and Derek, baby Lemke too. I'm excited to be a part of your race here in Wisconsin. The, you know I'm obsessed with cuffs. There's like six of them in here. So there's two of this like Tiffany blue color, two white ones, what, two black ones. And here, look at, oh, my dad's gonna want these ones. These look like scotch glasses. Okay, get, okay, my dad just walked in the garage. Now we have to share. Look at it. Jed, thank you, buddy. Okay, there's more. Oh my goodness. What the heck is this? Oh my goodness, no wonder this is so heavy. Wait, this is hilarious because, <laughs> wait, I need to get this out. I literally asked my mom, I'm like, we didn't have a wedding registry, so would it be weird of me to put like some new pots and pans on the baby registry? Look at now we don't have to anymore. There's Derek. two right there. Oh my gosh, these are so heavy. Amy just, Natalie oh, just fell off Natalie. the car quest. Natalie just fell off the car Wait, quest. Wait, I'm stool. pregnant. Do I have to go to the hospital? No. Mm, that was a pretty gracious <laughs> fall. Yeah. Although I don't know how you fall off <laughs> one of those, but you managed to do My it. My back hurts now really bad. <laughs> Okay, everybody, well, oh my God, that hurts. Well, update, we're putting the graphics on the car and it looks really good. And you're not allowed on the car quest scooter no more. I don't like that thing. I'm gonna sit on a tire. Wow, Derek, it's looking really good. Not too bad, not being a vinyl guy. I think you're a vinyl guy, you're doing a great job. I'm as much of a vinyl guy as our plumber was an electrician. That's a long story for a whole nother day. Are you sure you want this on here? Because once it goes on... Derek, the other side already has your name on it, so <laughs> you might as well do the passenger side. Look at this, you can still see my name from the last time. Really rub it on there so no one can take it off. The car is literally looking so chef's kiss. Wait until you see. We got plushable on the quarter panel. We got Marthaler on the lower quarter panel. Number 31, Derek Lemke, our driver. Our contingency stickers, we made our own. And Bauer welding on the hood. That looks gorgeous, Derek, you did so good. One last sticker going on for tonight before we load. Right about here. Looks good. He did give me a couple extra ones of these. I think with him anticipating that I might rub one or two of them off. Thanks for the graphics, HD5. The car is finished, kind of. We're missing two stickers. One that's gonna go right here, cause that just happened like yesterday. Zymox came on board for these racing events in Wisconsin. I'm so excited. The OGs know Zymox and then Derek forgot to tell HD5 that we have Marthaler on the TV panel, not just lower quarters. So we're gonna need that printed, Zymox printed, and you'll see us apply those stickers when we're at the track. All right, car's on the ground, pit box is getting closed up. It is 1041. First time we're uh, loading out of this house. Haven't raced in a while. A little bit of a late night, but Chuck and I got her done. Car's the last thing to go in. We'll uh, be ready to hit the track here. Car's in the trailer. Locking her up. It's going close. All right, it's 11 o'clock. Car's loaded, trailer's locked up. This is the shop here with no race car in it. 
Kind of looks funny. Well, we got a race car in it, but... Nah, she's pregnant. I can't bring her inserts. Here we go. It's a wrap. It is finally the day that we are loaded and pulling out of the driveway to head to Wisconsin to go racing for like three weeks we're going to be gone. Doing the whole Oktoberfest in Wisconsin Dells. I know you've been hearing it a lot throughout this whole video, but I'm just so excited. Let's go. Let's go.